This video will go over how to import an existing family tree you have into the Family Tree Excel Tree Workbook via a CSV file created by the third party software Gramps. Gramps is a well known family tree software. It is completely unaffiliated with Family Tree Excel. Gramps allows you to import a GEDCOM file from any other family tree software or website that you use. Then Gramps allows you to export this data as a CSV file. Family Tree Excel has an option then to import that data to populate the tree workbook. At this time, only the CSV file created by Gramps will work with Family Tree Excel. See the additional help videos for more Family Tree Excel options. The link to download Gramps is in the description below. Go to the website and download the version of Gramps for your computer. Click the link. This will initiate the download of the Gramps exe file. Once the exe file finishes downloading, click on the file at the bottom. From here, just follow the setup guide. It will take a few minutes for Gramps to fully install. Once it's finished, a shortcut icon should appear on your desktop. Double click the icon to open Gramps. The majority of softwares and websites have an option to export your existing family tree as a GEDCOM file. Check with your particular software on how to do this. If you already use Gramps for your tree, then you can skip to the export CSV section of this video. Once you have your existing tree GEDCOM file ready for import, then open up the Gramps software. You should open up to the Gramps Family Trees dashboard. From here, to create a new tree, click on New, enter any name for the tree, then hit Load Family Tree. This should set up a blank tree with no people in it yet. To import the GEDCOM file with your data, click on Family Trees, then click Import. This will give you the option to select your GEDCOM file previously created. Depending on the size of your tree, it may take a minute or so to import all the data. Once it's done, it will let you know of any errors or issues. You can skip over these for now. Now your Gramps tree is populated with your existing family tree data. From here you can also check out all the Gramps features and charts as well. Now that your family tree data is loaded, you can now export it from Gramps to a CSV file. To do so, click on Family Trees, click on Export. Choose Next. Make sure the CSV output format is selected. Hit Next. By default, your entire tree will be exported. However, you can filter your tree using Gramps options here. When you're ready, make sure only the following options are selected. Include people. Include marriages. Include children. Do not check include places or translate headers. This is critical for the CSV file to be properly created. Once the three correct options are checked, then hit next. You'll be given the option to name the CSV file and where to save it. You can name and save it wherever you want. Just remember where the file is saved for later. When ready, hit next. Then hit Apply to export the tree to a CSV file. When it's finished exporting, choose Close. You can now close the Gramp software if you wish. 
Now that the Gram CSV file is created, you can now import it into the Family Tree Excel Tree Workbook. You do not have to open or touch the CSV file that was just created. You just need to know where it was saved. It is recommended to save the Tree Workbook before attempting to import the data. Note that importing the CSV file will erase all the data you may have in the Tree Workbook. Once you're ready, on the tree worksheet, double click on Import Gramps. Click Yes on the prompt, then click OK. Then choose the CSV file that was created by Gramps. All the data is now being imported into the Family Tree Workbook. Please be patient and do not click on anything to avoid errors. This process can take seconds to minutes depending on the amount of people on the tree being imported. If all the steps were done properly, you should get a prompt telling you how many people were imported. Click OK, and now you can edit and modify your tree as you normally would. All the birth, death, and marriage dates should have came in. Places are also imported, but depending on how the original data was recorded, the places may be assigned to the wrong input field. For example, a birth city may have went into the birth county field. The order for displays will be correct, but this may affect the indexes when you filter by county, for example. The places imported will be listed on the input forms now for reference. That way you can adjust them as necessary. See the Tree Options Help video on how to do mass updates for places and the Image Help video for details on how birth country flags work on charts. If for any reason you got an error message or if the import did not work properly, then you should close the workbook without saving and try again. If the problems persist, please email me.